So my name is Doros Poligarpo and I'm the, I work for, the, for a human rights organization based here in Cyprus. Uh, we work uh, with the migrant and refugee communities and we try on one hand to protect their rights but also to sensitize the society about the different uh, religions, different cultures, different uh, ethnic uh, backgrounds of the people and how they can work together, cooperate together for better Cyprus or for the benefit of all of us. This why uh, actually I find this uh, event great because uh, usually we have uh, events where we use culture as a mean of communication but I don't know any other event or community that uh, is uh, having this uh, let's say part of their tradition to offer part of their income part of their time or today for example free drinks for the people uh, so that they can get to know each other on, on, a, on a small gift that but it's useful it's not just to consume it but water or a drink is very so vital because you need it for life you need it for it's great so, congratulations for your event and um, I said to the community as well I think we, we would be happy to stay in touch and uh, try to do more events together to sensitize the Cypriot community because we are a close society. It's a small island, not with a long tradition. We are not UK for the positive or for the negative. We don't have the, the negative past, but we don't have also the experience of the past that, uh, I mean, uh, uh, big societies like the UK, they have. Uh, it's a new phenomenon, migration. We started uh, migration in Cyprus since 1990. Before there were no migrants in Cyprus, so it's only the last 20 years. Mm. So, and have you seen that change then from 1990 to now? Like how people are accepting people from different faiths and different backgrounds? We have a backflash the last few years. I think this uh, is not only in Cyprus, it's uh, in, 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 in Europe in general. But I would say that definitely if we see where we started in the 90s, we went very in a very positive way until the until 2004-2005, I would say, with improvement. We have recently, I mean, the last uh, eight years, we have a serious economic uh, crisis, and I think there are political forces that they are using. Uh, this uh, issue, instead of uh, seeing the real roots of the crisis, trying to blame always it's an easy target, migrants or other people, to blame them for this. But I believe that despite this uh, backflash, yes, I mean, the, there is no other way. I mean, it's, uh, migration is a phenomenon that is not for today, not for tomorrow. It's, a, it's part of it. We need to as a society to get used to it and think that how can we make the best for all of us, for those they come, for those they are here and uh, I think it's, it's great, I mean it's great because you learn all the time. In the past you needed to plan for 10 years to have a, a rich experience with a different culture. Uh, uh, nowadays, it's part of our life. I think it's instead of see this as a great uh, chance, we are a bit afraid. People are afraid of their own. So, how do you think today has helped with that? Then? I think, first of all, I hope. I mean, it's. It helps because the impression in the society is either that migrants or other people are here as a threat or are here uh, because they need work from us. So these are the two main categories that in the, in, in the people who are afraid. I don't say the gener society in general, but those they are afraid, these are the two issues that they are usually what makes them a bit uh, 
to be afraid of the different uh, culture or the different people in the car. And I think this gives the opposite message. So we are not here only because we need. We offer you something. We don't take only from the society. We offer something uh, for free, and it's not only the dream. It's behind it, we, it's an invitation to learn our culture as well, or your culture in this case. So, so that's what Sikhi is doing. That whenever our guru, for example, went around the world, they never went there to, you know, take something from someone. They only went there to add. So I'll tell you a quick story. When our guru went to um, Baghdad, which is in Afghanistan, when our guru went, our first guru guru went there. Dude, they went there, and then people came out with a cup full of milk, saying that oh, there's there's no. If you told it to told me that there's enough fakirs here, there's enough saints here, there's no more space. Our guru didn't put no more milk in there. We got some flowers, and they put it on top, saying that we're not coming to add. We're just coming to make things more beautiful. That's what Sikhi is trying to do. So we're just here to you know make things. Obviously, we're here, obviously we have to come to get jobs and education. But we're here to uh, add to society. We're not here to take. We always have to make things better. For I am feeling Chartikala. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh.